Michael Goldner was a well-educated professional actor from an upper middle class family in Northern California. He came to Los Angeles to pursue his dream of furthering his career on the stage and the screen. I guess I, like millions of others, come to Hollywood with the hope and uh, dream of making it as an actor in Hollywood. And uh, I had been a stage actor in New York and San Francisco, and I, I had uh, not done well. I had turned to drugs and alcohol and uh, pretty much descended into uh, a life of a lot of despair and uh, misery. I, came to the Venice Family Clinic originally it was for I was having panic attacks. People who are sick and poor and uninsured, no surprise, typically have a variety of mental health issues. You know, I had suicidal ideation and I just felt my life had been a complete waste that I was taking up space. We needed to deal with the fact that maybe this was panic and maybe this was anxiety and what was life like and what was the role of alcohol and drugs. I got some mental health here, and there was an opening. There was a little opening of hope. I started to get a handle on my drug use and alcohol use. I went back to school at Santa Monica College. But years of stress, alcohol, and drugs had taken their toll on Michael's health. One morning, his life took a near tragic turn that would forever change him. I was cooking uh, breakfast and uh, I noticed that there was a very sharp pain running down my left arm. We did an EKG and it actually looked like he was having a heart attack. I drove to Harbor, uh, UCLA, about 30 or 40 minutes from here. And there I waited in the uh, emergency room for eight hours. And I remember I had this piece of paper from the Venice Family Clinic saying that I was having a heart attack. And I believe that piece of paper made me somebody that they paid attention to. Michael was given a triple bypass operation. It was a major moment of transformation. He felt he owed his life to the Venice Family Clinic. So he came back after a surgery to battle his drug and alcohol addiction and reclaim his physical and mental health. Dr. Fleischmann was waiting for Michael. We were very concerned that this not just be a little blip in the path that he was on with continuing to smoke and drink and really not take care of himself. And I think that for him it was a life-changing experience and he realized that we really cared about him and that we were gonna be there for him, thick or thin. I was given uh, care and respect and treated with uh, dignity that I didn't even have for myself at that time. I went back to school, I, I got a BA in English. I went and got a master's degree in clinical psychology. And today I'm completing a three-year uh, internship, which is required for licensing as a psychotherapist and counselor. He's just finishing up training, and he will be a marriage and family therapist, and couldn't dream of a happier ending for that story. The Venice Family Clinic saw something worth saving, something worth helping. When you're able to look back and see that the clinic really changed a life, saved a life. You know, I can't imagine doing anything better. It's so great to see you. I, it brings back all the memories of just, you know, how uh, much the care of the Venice Family Clinic meant to me at that time. And was the beginning of my decision to transform myself. You saved my life. I'm very grateful. I will be eternally grateful for that. Thank you. Well, you are quite welcome. Yeah. Now we get to hug. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you.